Florence Dev here and welcome to Undercover Overview. This is claiming to be a pretty much inspiration from the Time Crisis series. There is a fine line however between that and just straight up copying the mechanics. Granted some things will stay the same because they can't necessarily be changed and in the age of gaming or rather internet that everything was already done before, that's just the situation. <laughs> So Undercover is an arcade shooter game where you're going on a mission as two undercover agents, pun intended, to blast through the co-op campaign with a goal to infiltrate the evil megacorp Infinidine and shut down his world domination project before it's too late. Besides the art style and setting, there is not much else going on in terms of uniqueness. The shooter mechanics we're pretty much familiar with at this point will be stationing in one spot and then aiming at targets around us. It has a built-in co-op mode, but it's not like previous titles a la Crisis Brigade didn't feature that, so it's not necessarily a selling point either. There is a mention of something like a groundbreaking active cover system, which could be some kind of comedic play on words, or I'm imagining every single time we'll be ducking for cover, something will appear in front of us to shield us, I don't know, like, could be anything really, and everything is set in in this retro style. I expect it to be fun, lighthearted and very much reminiscent of those times that you were playing arcades as a child. Though it's very doubtful it's gonna offer something groundbreaking for the platform. Let's go duck for cover! Ah, looking to hone your marksman skills. Obviously, as an undercover EOS agent, you should have little cause to ever discharge your firearm. But let's review the basics. Watch out. An enemy is taking aim. Take cover to avoid critical attacks. Okay, first of all, this was Metal Gear Solid sound, like, iconic. <laughs> I felt that. Try again. So it's not like we have to completely go down. This is a target. To shoot the target, raise your gun. Aim, then pull the trigger. Action. Yeah, it is very arcade vibes, like instantly. It's technical, I know. But for some reason they're like moving. I don't know if it's the resolution or just some grains going on. But I like this aim method, like here's nothing and when you actually try to look through it, it appears. That's pretty nice for the whole UI. to trigger the sights and that will help improve your aim take cover to reload while in cover you'll be sheltered from most frontal assault aha it's a workout game but at least it's not gonna be as tiring as I thought next shoot any items you find to equip or consume them Fantastic. Finally, mind your surroundings. Look out for any objects that could provide an advantage or dispatch several enemies at once. Crikey! Yes, well done. Again, I can't imagine you'll ever acquire such noisy, chaotic conduct in the field, but no harm in being prepared for the worst. <clears throat> Until the mission. I don't know if I like this vignette. But that's pretty solid. The graphics seem alright as well. 
But yeah, some is going on the resolution, the distance. Does it matter who we play? We have the same pistols. Or whatever that is. Let's just say. Only for missions? Oh, but it's like a combination of stages. So that would be 12 in total. Route. So maybe there's gonna be like different starting points and stuff. Agents Magnum and Red Eye, meet Pax Harrison, CEO of the tech consortium Infinidine. They make the uh, V chip, right? And cybernetic weapons. Our informant has discovered a new prototype, codenamed Huvo Pro. And with Infinidine's litany of war crimes... EOS wants action. <laughs> this is gonna be a blast. Your mission is to recover this prototype and eliminate Pax Harrison. As usual, performance will be evaluated in real time. However, today you'll be assessed individually. Whoa, what? We're a team. We're always scored together. It's a trial incentive system. Nothing changes. Ugh. Do you believe this, Red? Yeah. Kill the bad guy, save the world. Nothing changes. Infinidine, the friendly face of tyranny. You know this is our 20th gig? What, together? Oh, no wonder I'm sick of you. Off the comms, agent. You're not a bouncer. Action. Welcome, valued recruits. I'm Karen, head of orientation. Come on through. Remember, you're outnumbered. You are to remain undercover. Relax, top man. Professional. It wasn't materials detected. Action. It's just a light squad works. Plan A was a boring bust. Mag, time for plan B. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Congratulations, team. A new record. You blew your cover in 58 seconds. Oh, it felt longer. The day's young. We can talk that. It's so weird not to just review like that in most of the arcades. <laughs> nice Starbucks situation. It's like everything's symmetric in terms of gameplay. Maybe those routes mean that I would replace her position. I don't really like this blue hue that I'm getting while squatting. It doesn't seem like I can change it. I don't have access to certain enemies as well because of my position. So this really relies on AI or other person to succeed. Taking 
I feel like I would love a choice to reload with squatting and can movement cause it kinda breaks my dynamic. I don't necessarily know if it's entertaining enough. There's not much to say, really. us to death. You seem like you need the encouragement. I'm confused if you're Russian, English or French like I am a winning machine. Oh, we can change the hand. Yeah, sometimes I need to wait for her to kill them. 
I'm not used to the cooperation. <laughs> Yeah, in some spots the resolution is kind of garble, and it's not because of the pixelated art style. It's in a shipping container in the southeast bay. Mm, copy that. We'll take the fast track through initiation. Let's ride. Okay. I did more than a million shots. Okay. And my rank is absolute garbage. Interesting. <laughs> With the price point, features and the whole package, I'm not so sure about this. There's some cool stuff going on, but there's also some accessibility issues. If it's this flashing vignette or that you have to squat to reload, which seems like a gimmick, at least make it optional that you can do with that and then do the classic arcade swinging movement. The resolution can be a little bit weird, especially is visible with this sort of art style. And solo to me seems a tad boring, but mostly because I know already those games and how it plays out. So while it's cute and all, it's nothing that will change the game for VR.